going on, Designer Canines community? I'm here with my brother, Kaz Crush Kennels, Casanova, the owner of Bipolar, the owner of Gigabyte, the top studs. That's what we're here for. We're looking for the top studs in the world. So when I'm looking for my studs, I'm looking for shortest, smashed up face, biggest bone, but at the same time, proportion, style of dog. You gotta be fully functional. It's hard to get fully functional when you're short and compact with big bone. At the same time, it's mobility. Mm -hmm. But you're saying you wanna have the best, so anything's possible. That's the, that's the whole reason why we breed, to better the breed and to better your style for your liking and for your clients and for your customers. Yes. So how long have you been breeding? Uh, I've been breeding bullies. I started in 2006 when I was 18 years old. And now we're in 2020. I'm 32. So 14 years. 14 years? 14 years straight. Oh my gosh. So you've seen a lot of ups and downs and everything and the, and the changes in what's in style and the fads. What, if, what are the latest trends that you're noticing in the bully community? Yeah, I've seen it all. I've seen it all. So right now... A lot of people like the Merle color, that's a hot thing. Whether it's Bully, Bulldog, or Frenchie, Merles are really hot right now. And it's a good thing, it's new, it's flashy, and a lot of breeders like it, and also a lot of uh, pet owners like it as well. So you can play both sides of the field with that color. But overall, I go for the structure, so as long as you got a nice structure, sound dog, whether it's a Bulldog, Bully, or Frenchie, you can never go out of style. You'll always be consistently in the race because structure never goes out of style, no matter the color of the dog. Right, yeah, yes. Definitely, definitely. So what advice would you give to new and upcoming breeders that are like, uh, I don't know exactly what I'm looking for. What advice would you give to them? So my advice to like a new upcoming breeder would be, first you gotta have a vision when you come into the game. Have a vision. Once you have that vision, stick to it and then attack. Number one, go for a nice female. Everyone goes for a stud. Every guy, every guy wants to have that number one stud. Mm -hmm. It takes a long time. Some of us actually never even get to that point to having that ideal stud because you're always chasing for more and more and better and better. But I would say go with a nice female. That's your liking. Stick to that vision and then just go for an attack. Don't look back and just keep going forward. And every breeding, get closer and closer to what your ideal dog is or your ideal stud is. Excellent. Well, we saw the beautiful Gigabyte. Can we please see the world famous Bipolar? <laughs> yes, yes, we can do that. We can make that happen. <laughs> All right, let's see him. Check let's him out. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me here, Kaz. No doubt, no doubt. I'm so thankful that I have to, uh, I have the blessing to be able to say that this is one of my team players. I love you, yes, and yes. thank you so much for having us and showing us your beautiful kennel and your beautiful dogs. No problem. Thank you for coming out and showcasing the yard. Appreciate it. <laughs> Peace. Peace.